All right, we're gonna make one of my favorites. And this actually involves a lot of different cuts from your wild game that a lot of people just completely bypass. But to be honest with you, those front shoulder cuts, some of the different shank meat, some of that stew meat or trim meat, all that stuff is awesome when you cook it right, even if it's naturally tough or has different types of, you can see here, this is actually one of the front shanks. This is all axis, by the way, but you can see the silver skin, there's some different types of tissues in there. If you cook this the right way, all that breaks down really nice and starts to gel and just makes the most unbelievable pulled axis tacos or pulled axis. You can do them on like a sourdough bun, you name it. It is unbelievable. But what you need to do is get some butter, super hot, and we're gonna do a forward sear on this. So we're gonna put all this in here and just get a quick little sear just fast on a few sides. And you can see there's a lot of different cuts within this. So don't worry about those times where you're processing your wild game and you have those cuts where you feel like there's too much tissue or muscle direction going on to where you don't really understand what to do with those particular cuts because this is the ideal way to do it. So you're gonna have some butter on high heat. You're gonna cook it on each side really quick like that. I call this a forward sear. We're gonna sear it quick on each side and then we're gonna add about a cup, cup and a half of bone broth into a solid cast iron pot and we'll seal that up with tin foil as well. We're gonna put that on the Traeger and we're gonna slow cook that for up to a day if you would like to. The longer you cook it, just the better and better and better it gets. You can see we're getting a bit of a sear here. We don't wanna fully kick cook this. What we wanna do is we wanna just sear this just a little bit so as it cooks over time, it just continues to to break down and get more and more and more tender. So we're gonna go ahead and forward sear everything that's left in this bowl right here of this axis right off the Hawaiian Islands. And then we'll load it on the Traeger and leave her until tomorrow. I put a little bone broth in and I'm actually gonna go ahead and season a little bit right on that first layer. Prime rib rub is one of my favorites for this. You can see right there, but I'm gonna season a little bit on that layer. And then after I put this second layer on there, I'm gonna season one more time. But ideally, we're gonna fill this whole pot. Again, we've got a couple cups of bone broth in there. We're gonna seal it with foil and we're just gonna cook this thing at 200 degrees for as long as it takes to just be, I'm talking, barely touch it with a fork and it's falling apart. I put all that's left of that dripping in there. I can tell we've got just enough bone broth in there and we're gonna close this up and that is ready for foil in the Traeger. Literally step one when you learn how to use a Traeger is you first come out, you just open the pellet lid. Are there pellets in there? Yes, there's enough pellets. That means we have fuel. It's, you know, back in the day when I had propane, I'd have to go out, lift the propane, shake it around. Yep, I have enough to cook. Same thing. You have to have fuel. Those pellets are the fuel. So lift that lid first, make sure you're good. Set your temp, hit ignite you're off to the races. We're gonna set this grill at 225. And honestly, if you cook at anywhere from 200 to 225, I normally start this the night before I'm gonna eat with friends and just let this thing cook low and slow throughout the whole day. 
And honestly, tomorrow when it's ready, I'll show you the last few steps that you have to do. But this is kind of just fill your hopper full of pellets, set it on that low temp, and just forget about it. You'll be totally good to go for a full day, and this will be an unbelievable meal tomorrow night. All right, so the next day, I got a bunch of friends over. We're getting ready to eat. Here's what we did. We took peppers. We tossed these peppers in olive oil and also some selected spice. We're gonna set these on here and turn this grill up just a little bit here at the end. We're gonna go ahead and turn this up to 435. Just see, they're rolling in the food wagon right now. And we're gonna get these peppers seared on each side so that I can add them into this. All right, we're getting close on the peppers. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. While those are finishing, I'm gonna set these out here and I'm gonna take this lid off quick. There's, I know there's a few little leg shanks in there. I'm gonna pull those out just like that. You can see, honestly, I'm just gonna twist this like this. I know there's one more, there it is. That's awesome. You had real bone broth in there from that axis shank, but I'm just gonna turn this just like this. You can see, I mean, that is insane, insanely tender. And I'm just gonna break that up like that quick. Not gonna spend a lot of time because I don't wanna lose a lot of that heat. Um, one of the things that I'm a big proponent of for this particular recipe, gosh dang, that looks amazing. Look at that, just nothing but tongs. And this is fully shredded. All the stuff that people freaking neglect, in my opinion, on their wild game. And I'm a big proponent of two different types of Traeger sauces. One is gonna be the sweet heat, which for this is gonna be my preference. Otherwise, my other go-to is Texas spicy, but I'm just gonna put some of that in there like that. And then no one needs to actually season their served bun, because you're not gonna have to, but as soon as those peppers are done, I am going to slice them and put them in this, and I'm gonna let it just cook just a little bit longer to heat throughout and this is ready to serve to all my buddies from the knock on nation that are here on this glorious weekend there's no rhyme or reason to these slices just cut the ends off and slice them up, it's all going in the big pot, so it doesn't really matter. So just cut the ends off, chuck those out, keep going. You can see all these have a nice little char, and these are gonna add some awesome, awesome flavor to the axis. Amazing, amazing. Let's mix it all in just like that. Keep that heat in, just keep them going, keep them going. Caleb's tongue is hanging out right now. But this, honestly, my favorite, favorite one to make, this is just so freaking awesome and you utilize every bit of that wild game that's really tough to figure out what to do with this is the answer for every bit of that we started this i don't know 18 hours ago or so and here's the end result boom that is our end result. I've got a bunch of longtime friends from, or not, but obviously Broncos online first without them all. 
But uh, we're gonna serve some friends. This is a kickoff to an awesome weekend, but I'm here to tell you, if you want to have an awesome meal for a bunch of guests that can just continually pick at this until they're scraping the bottom of the pot, this is the way to go. Pulled axes, pulled elk, pulled whitetail, you name it. Cook it that same way and it is going to be amazing.